Now that I have the Allen cap bolts, I can finish off the top plate by counterboring the two bolt holes. Um, the two at the front, the closest to the headstock, which is these two here. To drill the counter bore, I'm actually going to use a, a slot drill. The closest size I have is a 1732, which works out at just under 13 and a half millimeters, um, given that cap diameter is just under 13 millimeters. That should give me uh, enough slack all the way around. And I'll take this down about 10 mil to make sure the heads don't stand proud. I've already found both these edges with the wiggler. Um, and I'll just bring the table across so the slot mill is directly overhead the centre of these two holes. As always I'm using the DRO to position the table. Each of these holes is 13mm back from this face and 15mm in from the far face. Okay, that's nine millimeters. We'll just have a quick check. Yep, and we can see there's a bit of swarf in there, but that head will clear quite nicely. And now to the other hole. also do is just put a countersink on each which hopefully will hide my little mistake there as well. Countersink bit has now been fitted to the mill so we'll just put a quick countersink on both of those. All the parts have now been machined, um, so we're good to go. Let's, let's give it a bit of a trial run and see how it comes together. So we'll start with the, the lower plate, as I was calling it. Um, as you can see, I have now actually counterboard all four holes, all four bolt holes. Um, I did say at the beginning um, that I was a bit restricted with bolts, but I've now had my Allen cap bolts. Um, these two, of course, are covered over by the top plate, so it doesn't really matter. I've counterboard them anyway to future-proof this base plate so I may be able to use it for some other purpose going forwards. So yeah, that's good. Um, we'll sit on the carriage with the 14 nuts in the slots. All the and cap bolts I have have now been cut to length. So 
So we'll put the two rear ones in first. We won't tighten those just yet. So as we know, the front two are in fact covered over by the top plate and the bolts will drop down all the way through. So here's the top plate. Again, all the bolt holes have been counterboard. Bit of chatter on that one, unfortunately, but we can live with that. The two, the two forward bolts, as I've already said, go right the way through. Down to the T-nuts on the table. Okay, and hopefully you can see that all those iron caps are sitting below the respective plate tops. Next we have the clamp uh, with its register for the tool post itself. I will secure this with some Loctite thread lock. And then we have the register which fits in the tool post itself and the tool post can then rotate around to different angles. Finish it off with the washer. I do need to turn one but unfortunately I've managed to damage my parting off tool. As soon as I get that replaced I'll make a washer for that. And we have the clamping nut um, which will now go on top. We just change that camera angle and then to finish it all off the clamping nut that fits on top. I have cheated a little bit, I've used the existing handle from the compound slide. There we go. That is solid.